What's up everybody, Roger here from DizKingdom.com and we're doing a quick video here on some of the new Disney Eats items which have recently been released on DisneyStore.co.uk and also at ShopDisney.com. Disney were kind enough to send me these items to do a review for. So I'm going to be looking here at this um, lunchbox, at this food cutter set and also this flatware set as well. Now what this I'm going to do something a little bit different than we normally do because we're actually going to bake some cakes and we're going to actually make some cookie or make some cookies and biscuits and use these cookie cutters to kind of show what they look like. So we're going to be doing it'll be a bit of a different video than we normally do. I've never really done a cooking video before, but this is going to be the start of it. So first off, let's have a look at each of the items. Let's remove these two from here. First off, we have the lunchbox, which is a silicon food storage container, which is a also includes a two-in-one fork and spoon utensil so you can see here in the front we have got listen to your heart with snow white rapunzel and also meredith and brave see here on the bottom it's got the logo here it's also that it is looks like it's not microwavable and also it does look like it's um microwave sorry and um, dishwasher safe but don't use a knife and don't set it a fire by the looks of it so we can unclip this like so and inside here we can see and what you can do is you can pop it out to make it a bit bigger so this is good for storage especially after if you don't need it all the time you can kind of squash it down a bit maybe after you've eaten your dinner and you don't want to take up too much space so if you're just storing it it's actually quite a nice decent size of box so let's get rid of that and put that into recycling and so we also have this item here which i'm just going to take off the sticker take that off there obviously it'll come off a bit better in the wash just disconnect that a little bit and then under here, we have got a fork and a spoon. So if you're having some yogurt or you've got a salad or anything, you can pop that in there. Now, you know, it's, not a, it's not a cheap set. You're going to obviously be able to pick some up um, in stores a little bit cheaper, but you are paying for the Disney things. But also, it's very, very well made. This lunchbox, that is great. You know, it's very hard wearing. And there we go. So good for good for kids, but also maybe if little kids at heart who wants to maybe have a new pet lunch. But it's pretty good. Um, you can't really go too wrong. It's going to do exactly what it says on the tin. Let's have a look here at the second thing. We have got the flatware set. So we can see here. Um, okay, so now we have got the flatware set, which includes a travel container for on-the-go ease. So you can see here we've got an, um, a fork and a spoon. And on the back here, not really much detail, just saying that it's not microwave friendly, but it is dishwasher safe. Um, it's for food. And let's open it up. It's part of the Disney Eats one. So let's get it out of that one. Right, so here we have got spoon, which lovely great big heart on it. And then we have got a fork as well. Nice metal, pretty good, very solid. And then you got this little case that can put them in. And that also comes with Be True, which includes Jasmine. We've also got Belle and um, I think that's um, Cinderella as well. Just had a um, thing there. Cinderella or is that Oriana? But it is sleeping. That is Ori. Yeah. Okay, so we can see here on the front there that it does say Be True and it's got Jasmine. It's also got Cinderella and Belle, so that's pretty cool. And then we've got these two lovely little heart ones. Whether or not that's a little bit too big for um, smaller kids, I don't know, but it is kind of quite fun. Um, I think kids are going to like doing it. I'll be honest, I'm going to be um, giving these to my um, nephew and stuff so they can play with them because, let's be honest, they're not going to know if, they don't, if I don't put them in a box. And it means that I've always got something for them when they come. So that's going to be used. I just remembered I put that in the wrong way around. So you got a nice little storage case. So maybe if you want to take it on the go or a picnic or something, you've got that as well. Okay, so here is the food cutter set. So we can see here we have got like, it looks like a princess castle. We've got a shell and then we have got a little Cinderella shoe. So on the back here, you can push it down and out comes a castle. And this product um, can't be used in the microwave. It also can't be used in a dishwasher. So let's rip this one open. So let's get rid of that. So inside we have got the cookie cutter, or the biscuit cutter. Nice, sharp. It's not, well, it's not sharp, but it's definitely going to do it. And then we've also got the shell. And then we have also got... A shoe so that's gonna be very small so that might be something that you put on top of the castle 
there is a few other items from the Disney Eat, um, and so that's definitely a cool thing. But now, what I'm going to do is, we're now going to show you what some biscuits look like after we've actually made some. So, this is going to be fun to do. So, let's go over to the kitchen. Okay, so here we can see, we have got the cookie cutters ready to go. We've got some ingredients, we've got some uh, hazelnuts. We've also got all our egg, we've got our butter, we've got flour, caster sugar, eggs and some white chocolate chips, and also some vanilla extract. So we're going to put this all together. I've got a very probably bad um, thing that I've done, so I'm now ready just to cut it out. And I'm going to do the same again. Unfortunately, I didn't make enough paste to do this one, because this one's probably going to take up the entire thing. So we're just going to do some small ones. So there we go, and... Get that out. As you can see, I don't do sh cooking very often, so this is like the first time I've done it since I was in school. Okay, it's gonna... yeah. So you can probably do a lot better than I can because I'm doing dreadful. Castle down. Hopefully, this one's a bit better because I'm gonna cheat a little bit. And just remove all the outsides so we can see it a little bit easier. We'll have it as many, and then we're just gonna pop that out, pop that out. There we go. I think that you obviously need a bit something a bit bigger to get the um insides there, but there we have a castle biscuit. We have a kind of one, and then here we go. This is why you're not gonna see me cooking very often. Okay, now we're having a second go, but this time my wife's doing it, which is probably why the, the thing looks a lot better than mine. See, here we go, we got some Cinderella shoes. You can see there, her mix is a lot better than my attempt, which was pretty bad. We can actually see that it's there. So she's just gonna put so she's pushed that down. There we go. See that these look so much better than the way I tried to do it. Okay, so I've just taken these out of the oven. And um, so we have got the shells and we've got what looks like the castle remains. I know, not the best things, but <laughs> especially um, the mix didn't quite work great for me. But I'm gonna be totally honest, probably nothing wrong with these, it's just how bad I was at cooking. So I'm now going to um, show you my awful cooking. You can see the, here the castle, which looks roughly like a castle, and then we've got the shell. That's probably the best one. So here we go. So we can see here, it's a shell, which I think my wife actually made, <laughs> and here's the one I made. So right, so now I'm going to try it. <laughs> okay, I mean obviously it's not what Disney did, but... The sugar's fine. Yeah, it's got sugar on it, so that makes it a little bit better, but yeah. So, I'm going to try the castle now, just to kind of prove it. It's still hot. Luckily, the sugar coating makes that barely edible, but as a whole, you can have a lot of fun with these, especially if you're more used to cooking than I am. I think I was in primary school last time I actually had to do this. But a lot of fun, lots of stuff in Disney. Thank you very much for sending us over. There's lots of bits and pieces you can find over at um, shopdisney.com and disneyall.co.uk. Lots of bits and pieces for um, kids and families and stuff to do together. We thought we'd have a bit of fun while making this one up. I know it's pretty bad, but nevertheless, thank you very much for watching. Be sure to check us out over at DizKingdom.com, and we shall see you guys.